Okay, hello. It's the 24th of November, um, and this is episode two for my training, like remembering video journal of for the Spartan training. Um, so training for the for the last couple of weeks, which has been November the 11th to the 24th, which is today. Um, it hasn't been like super sort of spectacular, <laughs> sexy training, but it has, it's been like consistent. Um, I've done, well, I've had, well, the 13th we I had, um, it was Soak's birthday on November the 13th. So we did have a day, a night and a day away then, but I did some stuff then anyway, but um, training, been doing a bit on the treadmill um, and I've been doing that kind of, um, in the, I've been doing a lot of that in the mornings um, and I've been doing that kind of um, with no calories. So I'll get straight up, have a glass of water, um, a down about a pint of water with a little bit of salt in it. And then I just get on the treadmill, get warmed up for maybe 20 minutes. And then I generally like stick in a heart rate zone of like aerobic sort of style. Um, and sort of vary the pace and vary the um, uh, level of the machine up and down. So I'm kind of sticking in aerobic zone, sometimes going into like anaerobic, but I like the treadmill for that because I can sort of, especially in the mornings, I can like really gauge the heart rate situation and the effort. Um, mileage and the pace on that thing is like always off. So I don't, I just really pay attention to the time. Um, that's been going really well. Um, and I've been doing, I do those not every day. It's kind of like more like every other day. Cause then I sort of, um, maybe go to CrossFit three times a week and then fit, but then do those sessions on the other days. You see what I mean? The other mornings. Um, and then I have been doing some double days like training, um, on the CrossFit, I might then do that in the morning and then in the evening or afternoon, um, give it as much time as possible, really. Then I'll do like a very easy, like zone one, floating into zone two kind of heart rate um, sort of run. I've been doing that. Um, bits of, um, been doing some weights. I do do some weights in the garage and I don't do that too often. Um, because I normally do most most of my weight training. Um, normally I do most of my weight training on um, within CrossFit. And then afterwards kind of, I might do some sort of weights, whatever, sort of think about muscle groups, what I've done in CrossFit or, or, or what I haven't done for a while. So, you know, um, just think what will be best and what's going to work well. Uh, within that, I have been doing, started doing like a sandbag run where I do with the sandbag, pick up a sandbag, I run for it for 400 meters with the sandbag, drop it, then do a 400 meter run, um, and then come back, pick up the bag, and then do that for three sets. That's been, I'm trying to do that. Like, just want to do that every now and again. I think that's a great workout because you're kind of working uh, what's that situation? Compromise running. Um, I've been doing some weights in the garage. I generally like nothing crazy. I just do like muscle groups, pick like chest um, and then back. Um, I do normally do legs, but the one day I did that um, uh, training session in the garage, I'd done that Chad workout or the, the scaled version of it where you've got weights in your backpack and doing um, 500 step ups onto a box. So I didn't do legs that day, but normally I would do legs. Um, and then, so yeah, chest, back, um, shoulders. Then I'll do like 
my arms, you know, um, biceps and triceps and all that sort of thing. Um, and then some sit-ups, um, you know, exercising the core and all of that. Um, yeah, so nothing's, I, I, I don't, mileage wise, I'm not sure any, how many miles I've done or what I do in the week. Mate, varies between 20 to 30 at the moment, like running. I, I, you know, I do some walking as well, because I might do that in the morning. Um, and I've actually started writing a journal thing. I've got a little book where I'm writing um, stuff down, quite detailed, not like major detail, but just so I can like keep track of what I've been doing um, if I've been up on my calories, like keeping that up to scratch, making sure that that's like okay. So if I'm like, um, what would be the word, deficit in calories, then I kind of how that's played out for the next few days or whatever. So it's still early days of that. Oh, and I did just get a one of these aura rings. I've had that now for about five days or so, maybe. So that's been quite interesting, looking at like the sleep dynamics and and all that sort of thing, and whether you're ready to train or or what. Mainly the sleep thing is good, and also what I do like is the calories for the extra calories I've used in a day when I haven't been training. That's quite interesting because I would get it off my watch. I've got a Garmin Fenix Seven, and that's that's ace i love it but it doesn't actually work on my heart rate just on my watch it does with the band and that's why i wear the heart rate band because it doesn't go through the um tattoo on my wrist it won't like um pick up the heart rate data so that's a bit rubbish that that is real bad i think that's one of the that's the reason i got this ring and i was debating whether the whoop band or the aura ring or whatever anyway um, and I went with this, but the um, that's been good. Um, I'm trying to think what else. It's just main. I've done yeah, on double sessions running. I've been trying to do that. I think I said that. Um, and just upping the mileage gently. Um, fuck, big tree down in the road on the way to the workshop. Um, We've got to add a load of like crazy weather at the moment. I'll see if I can get a video of it. It's snapped down, so now I'm gonna to have to go the other way. Not a major size tree, but a tree. Tree down, tree down. We've like last night, we had really like crazy, crazy winds. And um, it was, um, uh, so I'm just concentrating. It was um, really windy and it's really rainy. So there's like just loads of trees down and all sorts. Um, so yeah. So anyway, um, training's been going well. It's not been like, I need to do some more um, of those sort of runs that are... Um, you know, more tricky in the, in, the, in the hills and stuff like that. I need to do more hills because um, I really need to get better at them. And running on ground, I'm not used to. Um, Branch, and he just took my mirror off then. But yeah, so I need to do more of those. And actually, I've just booked onto, well, we've just booked the hotel and all the stuff we need to do, the flights and stuff for, because I'm wanting to do the Spartan race in Mallorca, which is in March. So that's, let's just say, December, that'll be December, January, February, March. So what's that, four months. So that'll be a good sort of training block segment or whatever you call it. Anyway. Um, and it'll get a holiday and, and all that sort of thing, so that'll be quite cool. Um, so I've got to book that race and I'm gonna, I've got to do that tonight, I think. Um, so that could be cool. So yeah, anyway, episode two of the 
Spartan training saga. Um, take care. Bye.